a lot of people still question my validity. Like my manager shows me some comments where people say, oh, Mr. Easy, he just came up too quick. He's going to fade out. Mr. Easy was just low key. Like Jay-Z said, those who do not feel me are not real to me. Hence, they don't exist. Hi guys, it's Kesha. I'm here to reveal some of the meaning and secrets behind my tattoos. So this one, it's a humpback whale. And I feel like in a past life, I was a humpback whale. It kind of got out of hand because then I got another whale and then another whale and then another whale. So I have four whales. This one and this one, they were both done by the same artist. This one is to keep the evil energy away. It's like an evil eye, like a third eye. And this one is Saturn, because I was going through my Saturn return. And I also think I'm from outer space. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my new album, Rainbow, here on Apple Music. I hope you're somewhere praying, praying. I hope your soul is changing, changing. Sony Music and Simon Cowell decided to scout us out and put us together and we became homies, we became bros. Yeah. Yeah. Boys. So it's like this voice we do and the funniest word to say in the voice is pretty much. Pretty much the funniest word to say. Pretty much the Woo. sickest name. Pretty, pretty much. Pretty much. And I started making YouTube videos and some guy in my school when I got into high school was like, bro, you make YouTube videos? That's sick. Sing for us. And uh, all the girls were like, yeah, sing. I'm like, oh, gosh. That's fun. Little, little ukulele. Fans should expect lots of music. <laughs> <laughs> the mommy the, the mom daughter, daughter dance album. <laughs> I like that. Thank you again for tuning in. Listen now to Would You Mind on Apple Music. Hey. Wow. Oh, Is that true? You've never been arrested at all. What inspired Enter Sandman? Are you up for that? Who's Paula Cole? Oh, you didn't watch Dawson's Creek? What kind of toppings do you guys like on your froyo? Have you ever written a song that's just about like going out like a, a farmer's market and having a nice time? Do you ever lose your voice? Like how do you keep your voice in shape? Is that Sean Hayes? That's not Sean Hayes? Yeah, do you guys yeah. like any pop music? Do you guys like Beyonce? What about Rihanna? Yeah, what was your first concert? Yeah. Why is that ironic? I was from Harlem and I had moved to Mount Vernon when I was like 12. There was just one king of Mount Vernon, it was Heavy D. From his haircuts to the suits, Heavy D was just the flyest that came out of hip hop. I would wait around the pizza shop that he would come to. And one day he came to the pizza shop and I said to him, you know, I want to talk to you about being your manager. <laughs> and he was like, you crazy. And I was telling him, you know, I really, really, really want to get down with you in Uptown. Now, there's a bunch of record labels owned by some people of color. At that point in time, it wasn't like that. It was only Def Jam and Uptown. And then I said, maybe you could get me a meeting with Andre Harrell. One day I said, I'm just going to walk up to his house. This is how bad I need this. And I said, I really need you to make this call for me. And then he made the call, and he set up a meeting for me. That was life-changing.